Hey, what's up, everyone? Um, I just wanted to give a quick, quick video about uh, some of the new blue drops we have coming out. So, as some of you know, I've been working on the blue bonnet stuff for around five years now. And one of my main goals in doing all this was to go through DJ Short's whole supply en masse, uh, some of the hybrids made with some of his stuff, and to kind of find out what the true best blueberry was. And when I say blueberry, I don't just mean the strain. I mean something that looks as beautiful as DJ Short's blueberries looked in his photography over the years, since the 90s, as well as having extreme blueberry terps. Now, there's blueberry jam. There's all sorts of artificial blueberry smells that are so strong, they can overpower OG Kush in a room, any kind of dank anything you have going on. They should be able to overpower it. So it took about five years to perfect a seed line that I felt best represented it. And uh, I feel like we've made it. I feel like I feel like it's in seed form now. I feel comfortable saying that feel comfortable telling people that every pack you can find multiple different expressions of like blueberry slushy, blueberry candy, blueberry bubblegum, blueberry, you know, jam, blueberry compote, you know, like all sorts of blueberry. And uh, from there, we decided while we were doing this last line to include some of the more modern lines that I had been ignoring for many years. Um, one of my good friends, Spindle, uh, had some really, really dank modern lines that he's been, you know, selling a uh, flower of that some of his fan base enjoys and that he, in turn, as a blueberry fiend, has enjoyed as well. So uh, we took in some sherb cream pie. I don't know who that's from or exactly what's in it, but it's so sherby. It's so frosty. Great calyx to leaf ratio. Not seeing any mold in any of it. And we crossed that to the, the blueberry in cross. And uh, we're calling that blue cocky because, you know, cream pie, blue cocky. You know, just kind of it. Uh, shout out to Farmer Dan for that fucking beautiful name. Um, um, so we know that there's lines out there called Blue Runts, Blue Zushi, all this other stuff. Um, I got to smoke a bunch of white runts early on, and I thought it was pretty decent for what it was. So in this run, we decided to add white runts and make a true blueberry runts. Like, let's make a candy strain of blue and something that appeals to the masses. Because the overall idea, like I've been, I've been very much against isolating myself from the cookie crowd, the sherb crowd, the gelato crowd. Um, I've dabbled in it, but I haven't really fully reached into it. And in order to do what we need to do to uh, to bring the younger generation into understanding genetics, we need to tap into that. And uh, I felt that the blueberry in cross into like a white runts would be an excellent way of doing that, showing that you can breed. You can breed lines that have these true blueberry terps, cross them into something and make them something unique. You don't just need to smash like into like into like into like and take the easy route. Um, and the last one is uh, the Trot Berry. Now, Dosey Dose, out of all the cookies crosses, I think um, Archive probably nailed it the best with Dosey Dose. There's been some really, really good stuff coming out of Dosey Dose nonstop. Um, another line that I've really liked, uh, Terp Wise, was the Trop Cherry. And I had a chance to have a uh, Trop Cherry Dosey Dose. And that also made it into the Blueberry In Cross line. It'll combine insanely well. Um, I really hope you guys enjoy what you get. But overall, my main purpose is the Blueberry In Cross. I made a lot of them. Um, there's actually a blue candy direction. There's a blueberry jam direction. And then there's more of the blueberry kush direction. So it's heavy, heavy blueberry jam with some of the kush nuances of the earthy, cushy type uh, expression. So there's something for everyone in there. 
It's currently available. A bunch of them have already been shipped from the pre-orders. Um, pre-orders got the best price. However, if you're a part of our Patreon, you get 30% off each pack when you order. Um, it costs $5 a month to join our Patreon, and that usually is there to keep the trolls out and stand done a damn good job. And when they do sneak in, they still get booted pretty fast because you guys know how I roll, you know, like no tolerance for bullshit. Anyways, um, yeah, go check that out. In uh, 420, I've got some great announcements. We have Matt Elite joining us finally with some of his I-95 work. I know a lot of you are looking for OG cushion seed form. Um, as far as regular seeds go, I don't think anybody's done better than Matt Elite. And I can say that wholeheartedly. Um, his chem lines, as far as regular lines go, nothing beats it. Nothing has come even close. His resurrection line, I feel like, was the epitome of Chem 91. And everything Chem 90 was, Chem 91 was, when they originally popped that seed. I get, I finally get why that line and cut was held for so long and so popular once I smoked that. Um, we're going to have some resurrection stuff in there. Uh, SFV, across the Chem D, I-95, Headband, I, Chem D, I-95, Snow Dog, Chem D, I-95, uh, East Coast Sour Diesel, Chem D, I-95. It's, it's, it's a plethora of riches on top of that for you sativa heads because there it's it's a growing contingent people are finally getting that like longer flowering strains can be just as dank as any um the high is what matters to a lot of us you know like it's not just the hype not just the name and in hopes that we're smoking what all these other people are talking about and he has a bunch of mango hay stuff dropping and in my opinion um, Shanti Baba's work was pinnacled by Mango Hayes, and uh, Neville's work was was obviously Neville's Hayes. But I think Mango Hayes is a is a worthy competitor, and uh, yeah, and so with people who buy two packs of that, you can also get some Shoreline Cross to Vietnam Black and the Cough. So there's a lot of opportunities for some really really dank stuff. Um, baselines for other breeders to work into their own work, which a lot of us breed for breeders. I feel like what I do is breeding for breeders, much less so than commercial croppers, though it does work for both. Um, there's nothing better than being someone who breeds for breeders, though, in my mind. Like, that's the biggest accomplishment. So anyway, I just wanted to take a moment to uh, let you guys all know about this stuff. Um, it's up. It's already shipping. It ships pretty fast because it's all packaged up, ready to rock. So, um, yeah, be a part of the blueberry revolution before it's gone because it will be gone. And um, because this iteration, I feel, is the pinnacle of what I've done, it may be where I move on from blueberry finally after the past five years, even though that's like been my life, uh, my life goal to to leave something behind that was better than what I started with. And, uh, yeah, I mean, that's our motto, you know, leave the plant better, better than you got it before you're gone. So, yeah. Anyways, um, join our Patreon Discord, uh, UFC 300 this weekend, so we can be watching that together. And uh, all kinds of other cool shit goes on. We have our, our waffles, I call them, since raffles are not like a thing anymore um we have our waffles where you can be winning packs at, at five dollars a pack in many cases uh if that's how the the tall turd tumbles when you when you roll the dice so um a lot of people have been really happy getting some really rare strains i've been pulling stuff out of my collection to ensure that you're getting some strains that maybe you wouldn't have had access to because you weren't around during the forum days um also again this weekend, we have uh, the Canna Commander back. So go join the com. Get in on it. Um, if you weren't there for the forum culture, now you can be. You can be a part of old forum culture and see how it ran. Uh, talk to a lot of the guys that were a part of it one-on-one -on -one and be yourself become a part of it because, like, 
it's what instilled a lot of the a lot of who I am and how how I act. And some of you hate it. Some of you can't stand my face. Some of you can't stand my voice. But none of you can say that I've been wrong a lot. And uh, yeah, it is what it is. I appreciate all of you who tune in. I appreciate the fact that like we've made it this far. Um, I never gauged the Breeder Syndicate having any kind of interest in it, let alone um, where we're at with like 500 members. It's it's unreal to me. It's humbling. And um, I appreciate all of you, every last one of you that has stuck by me through this. And hopefully it's just the beginning of many beautiful things to come. So, yeah, go be a part of this shit. Join it. And we'll see you there. Cheers from Breeder Syndicate.